Okay, folks. I'm out here and got this uh, solar bubbler hooked up in the trough. Got plenty of frozen ground. Uh, cold temperatures. You can see we got a little snow. Um, give you an idea how hard this stuff is here. I mean, ground is hard. Uh, last night, or this morning rather, we woke up about 16 degrees. Um, so I know this is a good time to get this hooked up. Um, it'll be my first real test at these temperatures with this bubbler. So we'll see if the battery even holds up. Um, you can see what it's doing for the water. We do got movement pretty much rippling all the way across too. So, you know, if it freezes tonight and uh, the bubbler doesn't make much of a difference, um, I understand that I still need to insulate my stock tank and maybe that's what I'll need to make this work completely. But this is a test. We'll see what happens come morning. Um, should be right back in the 20s again tonight. So uh, should be a good test for it. We're sitting at about 16 degrees right now. And you can see, first of all, listen to it. Still sounds like it has plenty of juice, but the motor's not sounding that great. So I wanna make note of that. Now when we look at the water, um, you can see that there's still bubbles in the area where the bubbler is. Now the bubbler that I've used is nothing fancy. It's just something I threw in here to see how this was gonna work. Um, I took the end of the tubing, stuck it in a Powerade jug, and uh, poked a few very small pinholes in the Powerade jug, pretty much making my own bubbler. But what I'd like to do here is kind of break the ice. And see how thick it is right here. So we've got, you know, if you go from the gap between my fingers, we got about a half inch. So did the bubbler help? I don't really know. Let's crack the ice over this way where it doesn't have the bubbles and see what it looks like. Um, I'm gonna say the ice is about the same. So I guess the only thing that the air bubbler did was put a little bit of air underneath the ice. Um, what I'm gonna have to do is insulate the tank, add the bubbler to that setup, and see what that does. <laughs> 